おはようございました。私は長文金、韓国の選挙選挙地です。And this is all I know in Japanese. <laughs> yes.、Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Chong Won. As I introduced, I'm working with the WEG International、uh, here in、uh, Metro Manila doing the mission mobilization. And this morning, I'd like to share some,、uh, just a brief history about Japanese,、uh, the church, the Christianity in Japan. And also, well, the, what I prepared is also in doing so, I wanted to, to present the why is、uh, the landing and, and growing the church and Christianity was appeared so different between Korea and, and Japan, even though it has many. Uh, commonalities between two countries in terms of the culture and historical backgrounds and many different areas. But probably the time、uh, pressure, I'm not sure whether we're going to manage、uh, the whole, but、uh, at least I'm going to present the, the history of the, the Christianity in Japan. Before we start, I'd like to start with. Share something, the interesting facts about Japan. And I know the, all the Filipinos love singing. You know what? The term karaoke it means an empty orchestra in Japanese.、Okay. And there is about 1,500 earthquakes as every, every year in Japan. And since 1949, you know, the Japan has produced the 19 winners of the Nobel Prize. And another interesting fact is, if you're a fan of ice cream, you might want to try eel-flavored ice cream. And there is、uh, such a thing in Japan.、Okay. I haven't tried myself. I'm an、uh, ice cream lover, but I, I want to try when when I go there. And there's actually a common thing in Korea and Japan, many, but the one particular thing is there is actually cat cafe in Korea and Japan. You can go and enjoy cafe as well as the tens of the cats. And you can hang out with those cats in the cafe together.、Okay? And another common factor between Korea and Japan is the、uh, Korea and Japan. Are、uh, the country of which the four modern countries were never colonized by Europe.、Okay? Korea is actually being colonized by Japan, which is not European country.、Okay? Right. So the the first encounter, Japanese encounter of Christianity, is.、Uh, Goes back in the sixth century with the Nestorian,、uh, landed there, but their landing was so brief, and they actually retreated soon after. So actually, didn't carry any meaningful、uh, context encounter. But actually, the meaningful encounter took place again in the seventh,、uh, the sixteenth century. Though when the Saint Francis Xavier. Uh, landed to Japan. So, in、uh, 1549, he came to Japan as Catholic missionary. He was actually Jesuit,、uh, that belonged to、uh, the Society of Jesus, and actually he had traveled. Quite a bit long distance before he came to Japan. He started his journey from his own his home country, Portugal, in Spain, and then went to Mozambique in Africa first, and then went to India and spent a couple of years there, planting churches as a missionary, and 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 was quite successful. And then he went to Malacca in Malaysia, and then went back to India. Then went again to. Uh, Muluka in Indonesia, and then eventually after that, 
he in Malacca when he was in Malacca he came to know a uh, one Japanese called Anjiro or Yajiro he actually was uh, a fugitive he had committed a murder so he fled the country and he somehow ended up coming to Malacca in Malaysia and then he found this interesting foreign missionary and he approached to him and then uh, they become friends and they share, he shared about, Yanjiro shared about his own country, Japan and then Xavier found this interested so he actually uh, decided to go to Japan uh, together with Yanjiro so that's how it came in 1549 that was the first land of the Catholic missionary to Japan and that was the beginning of Christianity of the country as you see the, uh, this map uh, is the how the country was divided by different on uh, the shogun the Lord in that time and this is the area the Kyushu area the reason where the Francis Xavier and also other missionaries uh, were mostly uh, acted very vividly uh, there. Okay, so this is the Kyushu uh, region. Uh, six years before Xavier came to Japan, there was uh, one Portuguese merchant ship was kind of blown off and then forced to land that uh, small island in Kyushu and that was the uh, first kind of the foreign landing but and then six, late, uh, six years later in Kagoshima the Xavier came and then initially Kagoshima there was a initial welcoming but soon after the the Lord, the daimyo of that region kind of rejected and banned the Christianity so he decided to, to leave Kagoshima and uh, went to uh, the Hirao so he started the mission work there and then he made some uh, converts about a hundred people there and then he realized that he, he uh, wanted to reach to the very top of the hierarchy so he decided to go uh, to journey to Kyoto where the emperor uh, was present but then when he went there Kyoto he realized the emperor was a powerless he, he didn't have any power but the, the other the shogun uh, that has much power but also because of they've been suffering from long years of civil war the country basically was devastated and he disappointed he, can, he couldn't actually uh, to complete the, what he wanted so he decided to come back where he uh, started his journey in Kyushu area so he ended up coming uh, to this uh, area Bungo uh, where he also met uh, the lord of the region who became very favor, favorable uh, to Christianity and later himself become a convert okay so the Kyushu the whole Kyushu region has, uh, has become the hotspot for the lowly conversion so the, he the Xavier and other the missionaries could make some converts of the lords that means the ruler of that uh, the areas it's mainly because these Japanese lords were interested the what the Portuguese and Spanish uh, can bring mainly the gunpowder gun and guns because they've been fighting these civil wars and when they realized this 
foreign uh, people has the very powerful weapons, they wanted to show their favor to win, uh, to make this treaty with these people and trade so that they can have actual advantage of the, this uh, gun power in their uh, world. And the first law to convert it was Omura uh, Sumitada. So, uh, as a lord, he becomes a first uh, convert. And he's the one who opened the Nagasaki port to the foreign and the Spanish and Portugal merchant, Portuguese merchant, so that Nagasaki at that point was just a small, tiny uh, fish village. But it has become, since then, a very center of the trade. And the Xavier also met uh, Otomo Sorin. He was the, the ruler of the Bungo uh, region. And initially, he was a very uh, friendly to Xavier, because, not because of he was in, genuinely interested in the Christianity, but as I shared earlier, he was also interested in the goods and the weapons that the, these uh, Portuguese people carry. But he made such a, a good impact on the early Christianity because he was the one who established the center, headquarters of the Jesuit mission in their region. And the later, he actually sent the two Japanese embassies to Europe, whom actually had, uh, were able to meet the Pope there, and came back, and there was such a, a good advance in, in their Christian works. Okay? So this is the, uh, uh, the area the uh, Otoshorin uh, is from. But in the Shimaz uh, area, they were actually they were in the battle. So from the south, the Shimaz family was actually invading the Bungo areas, and and this uh, Otomo Sorin was losing the battle. And eventually, he asked the help from the central. Uh, where the Toyotomi Hideyoshi space. So he came and fought on behalf of the Sorin and, and uh, defeated uh, the, all the, uh, the Shimach people from the south. And from then on, that was the beginning of the dawn of the Christian century, the historians call. So from that uh, point of the first landing of uh, Francis Xavier, the Barak, there were about 100 years of history. There was uh, much growth of uh, Christians, uh, mainly Catholics. But unfortunately, in the middle of that, the Dark Era also uh, came to being, because the middle of, uh, towards the end of the 16th, uh, 16th century, the Oda Nobunaga the lost uh, his power, and then Toyotomi Hideyoshi becomes uh, the daimyo. Uh, he, he, didn't, uh, he couldn't become the shogun because of uh, his uh, uh, the class, but he was very uh, as as influential as the shogun, and Toyotomi Hideyoshi was become very suspicious about Christianity, because that time he began to see many his lords daimyos becoming Christian converts, and then he was in that time in the Japanese society and history the loyalty was the most important. Uh, the, the value in in the uh, in the society, but but these daimyos who converted to Christianity, 
they carry their Christian faith, their loyalty to Christ, that the, to their faith, it seems to be greater than their loyalty to Him, to the Shogun. So, so that's how the kind of uh, persecution started coming to a being. Because they, uh, the Christianity began uh, become something that's threatening to their system, to their society. So the Toyotomi Hideyoshi uh, issued a edict to ban the Christianity. And initially he uh, kicked out all the foreign uh, missionaries out. So that's the, when the Francis Xavier and decided to, to leave Japan, and he, he did. And then 1596, there was a Spanish the ship that wrecked, and, uh, and, and before the the in front of the Shikoku Sea, and then many uh, the crews and pilots were been uh, captured by Japanese uh, soldiers. But when they captured, the Spanish uh, pilots were kind of uh, threat threatened the Hideyoshi that unless you treat us well, the our the missionary, Spanish, the Spanish missionary will come with the loyal army of Spanish king. So that was uh, uh, the wrong thing uh, for Hideyoshi to hear. So he, of course, uh, was very upset and he was convinced that Christianity that, and that those missionaries uh, were the kind of forefront of Spanish army that eventually will come and, and, and invade the country. Uh, so, and next, he started searching the, all the Christians, uh, basically to kill. And this is the Toyotomi Hideyoshi. So the next year, the, uh, 1597, he forced 26 people marched uh, about 460 miles distance to, to Nagasaki and at the hilltop of the Nagasaki he crucified them, 26 martyrs. It was very ironic that Toyotomi Hideyoshi chose this uh, type of execution because it wasn't common practice in Japan, the crucifixion. So he, he deliberately chose this method to, to show, the, uh, show to, to the people as an example. Uh, so, uh, but before we go that, by this time, the people uh, say there were about 300,000 Catholic Christians. was in a uh, very rapid growth uh, in, 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 uh, in Japan of Catholicism. But from this point on, the, the, the government started to persecute and oppress the Christians very severely. So by towards the end of the Hideyoshi's time, and after the and also the successor, the Ieyas uh, regime, they say the Christians were killed about a half of the 300,000 or even more. So the wonderful start of the Christianity in. Uh, the 16th century, end of the 6th century, it didn't really last long. And there are about 
almost the 350 years until towards the end of the 19th century, the U.S. came and forced the Japan open their ports to the foreign again. The Christians were severely persecuted, and once they the, the, uh, exposed the belief, that they were killed. Uh, so, this Catholicism, the, who landed about 300 before the Protestantism, was almost lost. Uh, their foundation. There were, there, there were some hidden Christians, but they were so hidden that nobody knew, nobody knew how many they are and where they are. But there were some small number of people trying to keep their faith and keep their ritual. But other than that, the most of the Christians were killed. And then the, the in the history, the shogunate has ended, and then the major rest restoration started, and that, that was the beginning of their modern time of the Japanese history, uh, w when the U.S. came and opened their ports. And, uh, so, so through that time, the first Protestant missionary in 1859 uh, landed in Japan. That was the first uh, Protestant missionary. Uh, to Japan. So, and he was actually a medical doctor. So he, uh, he was mainly doing his medical work uh, as a missionary. He also landed in Nagasaki, where the uh, was considered as, as a center of Christianity for many centuries. But then soon after, he uh, moved to the Yokohama, where the new treaty port was opened. So Yokohama becomes a new port uh, for uh, and made the treaty between U.S. and Japan. So he uh, transferred himself to, to Yokohama and, and start the clinic there. And later he built uh, the Hepburn uh, School for, for medical uh, training. So after the happen arrived, and some other uh, Protestant missionaries uh, started coming to Japan. So the Protestant uh, mission works started, and towards the from the mid 19 and towards the end of 19, and there was uh, rapid growth again because the historical and social the atmosphere was very different from the past. The government itself, the major government, was much more lax about Christianity. And people were also more open towards the foreign uh, foreigners and, and foreign values and, and Christian teaching. So uh, in the history that there was many also Christian converts was coming to being, but unfortunately, as becomes uh, the, coming to the beginning of the 20th century, early 20th century, that the militant government, the Showa period started, this growth really dramatically slowed down. And as we know from then on, the early 20th century to the uh, end of the Second World War, the Japan becomes a very uh, uh, the militant dominant and oriented the nations, they have been invading many countries, including Korea and China and Russia, and eventually he, they uh, started the uh, Second World War II. And so through this time, the church also lost the power and, and the momentum, and the Christians also uh, also persecuted and, and killed, and basically they just lost the grip of, uh, of Japanese people and hearts. So uh, this is how the Christianity uh, came, came to the country of Japan and, and developed. And the Korea also has some similar 
the history, how the Catholicism first came, and then uh, about 100 years later, Protestantism uh, came. But as you know, the Korean church has a very different uh, history, the very different uh, uh, things. We know that in, now in Japan, there is about 0 0.5 evangelical Christians in Japan, they say. And all together with the Catholic and other form of the uh, Christianity, they say about 1% 1, 1 are Christians. Whereas uh, Korea, uh, even though we also started declining, but still we have about 20% uh, of Christians in Korea. And once we reached about 30% of the population, including the Catholic. So why is so, was so different? Uh, there are some interesting studies, uh, but unfortunately my time is up. So hopefully in, in our Q&A session later, I might have some chance to, to share briefly uh, about why is to this country is so different in, in the way the, the church has grown. Okay? So thank you, thank you for listening.